Hey YouTube, it's Paul Winner again. You may have already seen my other video about my Samsung Vibrant uh, compared to the Nexus One. Um, overall, the Nexus One did win the matchup, but I still think that the Vibrant will eventually win once it gets the 2.1 update. But anyways, today I have just installed uh, Enomther's 2.113 update. It's a Froyo based ROM, so let's go ahead and have a little dive through there from boot up to end. Okay, let's boot up. I think it's the, still the standard Nexus uh, boot up screen where it's just the little X's coming, I mean the little lines coming towards the middle to form the X's. I think that's the standard one. I don't know, I forgot what the standard one looked like. But, anyways, it's, um, this is uh, Enomther's latest 2.1, 2.2, I'm sorry, update to the Google Nexus One, and I have installed the 1.113 gigahertz overclock update. That's the only thing I have installed in it. Um, besides that, and a couple of applications I do use, any of these apps that you see on here, like on the home screen. Uh, do not come with it, such as, okay, I'll explain it later when we go into it. So, right here, you're going to be greeted by, um, you're going to you're gonna be booted into Launcher. I went ahead and installed Launcher Pro because I think that one looks a little bit better. I like it because it has a customizable dock screen down here. I'll just show you right here, quick. It has a little, has a little things right here, little shortcuts right here and you can just swipe it over to add more I think you have like four available options to just do that and it does uh, have its little quirks like a multi-touch display like that okay but this is not a launcher pro review so let's just go ahead and go to launcher which is the stock look to it so right like as I said before this uh, clock right here is not the it does not come with the ROM uh, it's called weather and widget toggle so if you want to if you want to have that application go ahead and search it on the market and buy it I think it's uh, two dollars it's a pretty good application anyways once uh, once you're into it I don't think there's any multi-touch pinch to zoom in this ROM build no there is not but it does it does feel solid very very responsive just like all 2.2 updates let's go ahead and go to the app menu right here you don't have a 3d launcher but you do have a little shadow effect a little darkness down here I guess it does give it a little more unique look to it and it has a shadow effect up at the top of the app menu as well and it's still it's still a very um, standard launcher pretty much. Uh, let's see. Force close. Let's just close that. Boot back into launcher. But anyways, um, everything does work. Uh, let's do a little quadrant score. For those who have not seen or heard of what quadrant standard is, it's a benchmarking tool for uh, higher end uh, uh, Android devices or I'm not sure if they have it on the next I mean the, the iPhone yet but it just basically tests all all of the all the internal hardware of your of your phone such as the GPU graphic processing unit and the CPU and uh, that's how we just, just wait for it to finish up and um, let's see Usually, I just I don't rely on this soul on this test uh, by itself, but rather I do other benchmarks with it, and I get a quadrant score of fourteen twelve, which is a little bit better than the stock Nexus One two point two update. Let's see. Let's just dive into this ROM a little bit more with the camera. 
it does have a 720p uh, video recording so that's uh, that's pretty good high def recording if uh, if you're one of those people that do I'm pretty sure all of us like to do high def uh, video recording for anything um, but that's a little feature added added into that um, I think there's a little uh, there's a lot there's it looks a little I'm not sure if it looks a little different like the camera interface compared to the old one but if it does then that's good it does look very nice um, it has an application called car home I'm not sure if that has the stock if that comes with 2.2 stock Froyo but anyways it basically voice search it gives you a little menu right here navigation it you just click that and it'll boot it to Google Maps phone voice search contacts as a cargo mode such as that it's a little neat little thing for your car if you use your phone a lot in the car and don't want to touch the phone a lot alright it's giving me a bunch of force closes <laughs> And that's one of the reasons why I like to use Launcher Pro. It hardly ever uh, locks up on me like that. So basically, here goes um, a little application called Spare Parts. Pretty much, this this application really lets you dive into it, into the customization phase of what um, rooting your phone does. It allows you to pretty much manage a whole bunch of applications like uh, there's a little option called application options you can just remove and take out any uh, of the stock apps you don't like such as uh, this one are you sure you want to uninstall Amazon MP3 store yes basically it allows you to clean up your phone get rid of all the bloatware you don't want and then you can go to the HTC applications. Um, I would rather keep those actually. The HTC camera allows it to have the 720p recording and CPU settings. You can actually overclock it up to 1.113 gigahertz. It comes stock with that kernel with this build, I believe. So you can always customize the mat minimum and maximum to save battery life if you want. And you can install other modifications to this build all you got to do is just go to kernel options and click on one of these um, kernel updates it'll download and then install it um, you just got to look through that <clears throat> memory and swap settings pretty much uh, I don't think the Nexus one really it really doesn't need swap settings so don't need to mess with that you can in, you can change the colors of your trackball thing and the little LED notification light and there's a lot you you really have to dig into this um, so I just went over the basics of it and let's see what else is there and I think that's pretty much it for this build it isn't it isn't uh, totally different from other Nexus One ROMs but it, I think it is uh, one of the more stable ones except for those force closes I was experiencing I haven't experienced those before maybe it's because I have two launchers uh, running at the same time but anyways um, that's pretty much it and uh, stay tuned for my other videos I may be posting a new video about the Samsung Vibrant with Eugene's hybrid are release number two or release number three um, so far he has released the number two he may be sending out the release number three but anyways stay tuned for my next videos this is Paul Winter again and have a nice day